Hello everyone. I am Dr. Vijay Rao, consultant rheumatologist at Divisha Arthritis and Medical Center, Basveshwanaga, Bengaluru. Uh, I would like to uh, enlighten my patients or who are watching this video about what Divisha Arthritis and Medical Center is about, what a rheumatologist is about and what are autoimmune disease about. So uh, to start with first I would like to let you know about what is autoimmunity. Autoimmunity is immune system in the blood which is supposed to protect us. They are like our defense forces. So uh, that is actually uh, meant to protect us uh, from all external attack and uh, 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 external attack and then uh, 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 giving us protection from uh, infections and also protection from uh, various diseases. But in autoimmune diseases, the uh, immune cells become our enemy and start attacking us. It's like Indian soldiers attacking India. So um, it can affect various organs of the body, not only joints, it can affect brain, eyes, hair, skin, glands, lungs, um, uh, heart, and then uh, bones, joints, blood, uh, and kidney. So uh, this we categorize into mild, moderate, and severe. If uh, skin and joints, uh, skin and hair only affected, it's categorized as mild. Uh, skin, joints, blood are affected, we categorize as moderate. And if it's internal organs such as lungs, kidney, and brain are affected, we categorize as severe. So there are several autoimmune diseases of which commonest is rheumatoid arthritis. Then there is uh, SLE or lupus, then there is vasculitis, then there is ankylosing spondylitis, then there is psoriatic arthritis, um, and uh, there is uh, several other of them. It affects various age groups from uh, youngest patient being uh, children or adolescents and the oldest patients being uh, above 65 years. So the myth that arthritis affects only aged people is actually wrong. Uh, most of the uh, autoimmune diseases affect between the age of 15 to 45 years age group. So it affects both genders, males and females, although rheumatoid arthritis is more common in uh, females and ankylosing spondylitis is more common in males. Uh, it can affect uh, 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 even uh, uh, kids. So uh, you know, youngest patient can be as young as even 5 years to 7 years or uh, between even adolescents between 18 to 20 years. So uh, uh, the myth about that only certain sections or gender can affect it is actually wrong. It can affect even pregnant women. One of the most common causes of pregnancy loss uh, can be autoimmune diseases. So uh, who treats autoimmune diseases? It's a rheumatologist who treats, who has a special uh, super speciality training in uh, treating autoimmune diseases. Uh, after doing the MBBS, we spend around three to four years in general internal medicine and then another four to five years in rheumatology with treating autoimmune uh, rheumatic diseases and subspecialty like what I have done in the uh, United Kingdom um, where uh, uh, treating certain sections of autoimmune diseases like lupus. I have special interest in lupus in uh, and rheumatic diseases in pregnancy. So uh, autoimmune diseases are better treated by rheumatologists because we not only have in-depth knowledge of immune system, we also have knowledge about side effects of these medicines, uh, how to manage with complications of these diseases and so on and so forth. Now uh, to let you know about myself, I am Dr. Vijay Rao. I uh, graduated from uh, Bangalore Medical College, then I went to United Kingdom to do my um, internship and further general internal medicine where I rotated through various branches of uh, medicine and selected rheumatology because it affects uh, several organs of the body and most of these diseases if not treated well can lead to devastating complications in main breadwinners of the family. So I work with some of the world renowned professors in rheumatology uh, such as Professor Paul Emery uh, in Leeds and Professor Caroline Gordon uh, in Birmingham, uh, who is one of the world authorities in lupus and runs the Lupus uh, Center of Excellence in Birmingham. 
and also professor simon bowman who is one of the leads in shogun syndrome which is one of the autoimmune diseases so uh, these are the centers where some of the cutting edge research have been done uh, and involved in several uh, drug trials and uh, researches and also contributed to several of the textbook chapters and publications in rheumatology so uh, after coming back to india um, i have been associated with manipal hospital for the last 8 years and uh, divisha is my own uh, one stop solution for autoimmune diseases i've been running for the last 4 years and I, now i'm a full time consultant here where we are open from morning 9 am till evening 9 pm monday to saturday uh, we have a dedicated rheumatologist which is me full time running here uh, seeing autoimmune diseases and we have a, a, a phlebotomy service where we uh, you know do all autoimmune service tests and we have a, a, a dedicated pharmacy where we subsidize uh, treatments because most of these treatments are uh, lifelong including some of the costly expensive medicines such as biological agents we offer more than 50% discount to patients um and we have a dedicated daycare service for running injections uh, such as monoclonal antibodies cyclophosphamide and doxan solimedrol infusions and with a dedicated fully experienced rheumatology nurse and uh, we have physiotherapy for all of our autoimmune diseases for muscle strengthening stretching and therapeutic yoga services also um so uh, this is one stop solution for making all autoimmune disease patients better So having told about autoimmune diseases having told about rheumatologist having told about myself what i would like to tell is autoimmune diseases are definitely can be controlled uh, with early diagnosis correct treatment lifelong treatment may not be required if treated early within 45 days of window period uh, so most of these diseases can be uh, totally controlled within 3 months and 3 to 6 months we stabilize the treatment and from 6 6 months onwards we gradually start reducing the treatment and once we reduce the treatment we see patient to patient improvement and if patient is doing very well uh, then we slowly um, reduce the treatment uh, and gradually uh, stop it now if after reducing treatment uh, you know disease uh, gets worse then of course we do not stop the treatment we maintain it at a very low dose all these treatments are extremely safe they do not cause any side effects uh, and we don't rely on steroids as rheumatologists we are use several steroid sparing agents and we don't use heavy painkillers these treatments are safe in pregnancy and can be used very well in pregnancy um, without causing any side effects to uh, baby or mother um, so uh, with that in background i would like to tell at conclude this video by telling that most rheumatological diseases get better only if you have faith uh, so you have to have faith in yourself faith in the doc- doctor you are seeing and faith in god so i often tell this to patients that it's a team work with uh, the main player being the patient and the supporting player being the doctor that is me and the umpire being the god or faith so uh, with that uh, statement i would like to say that you would do very well with uh, uh, all your autoimmune diseases we take timely treatment without any major side effects and hopefully you'll get cured from all your diseases thank you very much god bless you hello everyone i am dr vijay rao consultant rheumatologist at divisha arthritis and medical center vasveshwanaga bengaluru Today I'm going to talk to you about an autoimmune disease called psoriasis which has five domains in this skin nail joints back or spine that includes neck and lower back and buttocks and enthesis or heel or front of the tibia called tibial tuberosity or lateral epicondyle or called tennis elbow or Achilles tendon which is back of the ankle okay so as shown in the a uh, picture psoriatic arthritis can affect hair or skin in the uh, head called flaky scalp or dandruff it can affect uvea 
which is the structure which regulates the amount of life uh, light which gets into the eye and uh, causes red eyes painful swollen eyes where you have to rush to the doctor uh, to get help it affects in uh, 30% of patients and in 30% of them can be again and again and affects both eyes it can cause loss of vision if not treated uh, properly and it can affect uh, uh, if inflammation is so high it can and untreated it can cause heart attacks or stroke and hence treating inflammation with uh, you know uh, disease modifying anti rheumatic drug therapy is is very very important uh, it can also cause uh, nail changes which i told you and uh, uh, in severe stages because it cosmic it cosmetically damages you it can cause anxiety and depression causing social stigma or social withdrawal so uh, it seeing a rheumatologist is important because rheumatologist treats the whole part of the uh, body not only the joints uh, treat the skin treat the nails uh, then treat uh, uh, as as a person including the mind and uh, with uh, not only medicines but also physiotherapy as well so um, it's not necessary that everybody with psoriasis should have a skin problem 15% of patients that is 15 out of 100 people can have joints before skin and some people can have skin and joints some people have skin hand joints skin joints nails and spine so uh, and it can flare up one disease at a time that is skin one time joints one time so seeing a rheumatologist is important because we know what treatment works for which part of the body not every treatment works for everything and i would like to tell patients that just using creams won't affect this because we need to treat the immune cells which is the root cause of this problem immune cells affecting your body and causing immune attack that is indian soldiers attacking india so att- attacking skin joints and different parts of the body causing pain swelling stiffness first thing in the morning gets better with activity worse in the morning uh, better with uh, activity and uh, better with painkillers uh, that is what it is so it's uh, usually a genetic disease uh, not as a rule that uh, everybody in the family gets affected some might and some might not um and uh, as i told causing uh, uh, in this picture various parts uh, uh, very clearly shown so um most important here is uh, identifying that you have psoriatic arthritis so this is the diagnostic criteria where either the patient or the family history of the patient has psoriasis uh, or psoriatic nail disease or the pattern of joint involvement so it's either uh, most commonly the lower limb joints such as hip one hip one knee one ankle uh, and or dactylitis where the whole finger gets swollen or the whole toe gets swollen and with a negative rheumatoid factor and ccp test and uh, x-ray showing what we call as juxta articular new bone formation uh, so casper criteria is what we use for diagnosis and there's no one single test it's usually a rheumatologist's brain diagnosing this problem we often tell it's a pattern recognition by seeing the uh, joints we will know that this is a psoriatic joint and we go to the history of psoriasis in the family of the patient so once we make the diagnosis we try to treat it because usually if treated within 6 months of diagnosis a 6 months of symptom then we able to con- achieve control within 3 months 3 to 6 months we stabilize and by 6 months onwards we gradually start reducing the treatment and we hopefully able to stop the treatment by 2 years if your body permits so uh it's important that adequate uh, uh uh diagnosis is done rightly timely diagnosis is done so treatment is in the form of tablets called disease modifying anti rheumatic drug therapy so uh, such as methotrexate sulfur salicylic leflunomide it takes 3 months to work it doesn't work immediately and we support you with anti inflammatories initially for those patients who don't respond initially or who have aggressive disease we use something called as jack inhibitors such as tofacitinib or baricitinib tofacitinib is available in the generic form which is about 2000 rupees per month not very expensive but achieve faster results within a month month and a half for those patients who disease is very aggressive involving spine that is the buttock part 
and involving eyes we use anti tnf agents or biologicals such as adalimumab infliximab or etanercept early on giving good control within uh, one and a half to two months but we need to treat at least six months to one year they cost roughly about 18 to 20000 a month but achieve great results without much side effects none of these tablets or treatments have major problems if used by rheumatologists with adequate screening test or monitoring test and you are able to lead a normal life with its treatment even able to stop treatment by the end of 2 years time so physiotherapy or strengthening is very important leading a normal life is very important and diet avoiding red meat consumption and avoiding saturated fats or refined sugars and avoiding uh, excessive quantity of rice rice is what we suggest i'm sure with this information you will be able to take the right treatment and lead a normal life thank you very much